Hey, good morning, Summit. This is Edward, and do you know this guy? This is Jake, and I was thinking about our opening on the way to Lindell a while ago. Why don't we do that? Why don't I feel like I have to introduce myself every week on the weekly update and introduce you? It just Because we may have some new people watching. Oh, <clears throat> it just seems weird, you know? It's the same thing every week and starting it's, off. It is redundant. I say the same thing every week during the offering talk. We're on mission? Yep. That kind of stuff? I mean, it's the exact same offering talk. It's the exact same wording every week. Wow. Hey, this is your weekly update. Make sure you post this on all your platforms. Get the word out. I know we've got a big Sunday coming up this Sunday. You like my new hat? Project. You like my new hat? It's clean. It's clean, brother. Under Armour. you still got the cardboard in it? Nope. It's got a crease right there. <sighs> That's uh, just the way my head is. It could be. So, hey, big weekend this weekend, right? Yep. Uh, Sunday. Why don't you tell them what's going on Sunday? Going to be relaunching groups. Going to be talking about groups, the importance of groups. Going to be in Acts, where Edward's been, piggybacking off his last few messages. We're going to be talking about how the early church in Acts actually gives us a launching point for why our groups exist. Uh, there's three primary reasons why our groups exist, and I'm not going to tell you what those are right now because then you wouldn't show up Sunday. So, But we get those straight from that early church and, and what they did in the book of Acts, so I'm excited about that. We'll be displaying a lot of our groups. I mean, really excited about a couple things. We're going to be launching a singles group. We've never done that any kind of singles ministry here at Summit Heights before. Mm -hmm. uh, really haven't had the, the resources to do it, but we've got some folks that are willing to put the time and the effort into that. And so you'll have an opportunity to just say, hey, I'm interested. And then we will be giving more information down the road in the next couple of weeks of what that ministry is going to look like. We also have some opportunities for men to be connected in some men's groups and got a lot of women's groups going on this semester yeah. and then of course small groups and then I'm gonna be making a challenge to a lot of you at the end of the service all right to uh, maybe come out of your comfort zone a little bit and um, try to form some groups on your own and uh, with my help and leadership and so it's gonna be just a really cool Sunday and then we got membership after that so if you want to know more about Summit Heights Fellowship or you're interested in membership yeah. or just want to find out why we exist why we do what we do Hang out after church, uh, after the service. We'll be back in uh, room A101, mm -hmm. and Joe Fields and I would love to be able to, um, man, just share with you everything that's going on at Summit Heights Fellowship. So I don't know if I should share this or not, but I'm really excited about this whole small group thing that we may have a group starting in Longview. My, it's possible. Um, and so, very possible. Let me say this, if you live in Longview, I know a lot of you guys drive over here. Gladewater, Gladewater White Oak, Oak, all those areas. Pritchett area, that you Hallsville, guys are driving. So Longview. If you in that area, and I know some of you guys do come to Summit on occasion, and it's a long drive, we know that we're so honored that Kilgore. you drive a long way. We are talking to someone right now about possibly starting a group in the Longview area. So uh, New Diana. That's 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 a cool thing. As Marshall branches out and uh, how about Shreveport? You know this report? I'm, I'm naming all the suburbs. Of oh, I got right you. Now. I got you. Uh, so anyway, I, I, it's, again, we're not we're not Ooh, sure yeah. on that yet. It's just kind of in the early makers. Had some great conversations this week, and if you're in that area, reach out to this guy uh, because that gives us more of an idea of who all could be in that group and for, for you guys looking for communities. So, yeah, it's going to be awesome. Um, man, just really cool stuff. Now, I, I want to say this to you because we've, we've debated on this all week long. Normally, you guys call this the Summit Heights comedy uh, routine, that kind of stuff. We love to cut up, but we kind of just want to bring you up to date on a, a lot that's happening in our church right now and, and just so that you can be praying. Uh, about three months ago, the <clears throat> Lord laid on my heart on a morning walk uh, to begin to pray for unity at Summit Heights. And for the last three months, uh, we, we've just kind of hunkered down and began to pray because the enemy is at work. <clears throat> and he's definitely at work in marriages and relationships, and we're seeing those things happen. And we're just so grateful that God continues to protect us and take care of us. On the flip side of that is Jake and I were talking just a couple of days ago about this the health of people physical health sickness covid uh the new delta variant um not only that but other health complications of so many people in our body and our sphere of influence that are just hurting right now and they are uh sick and so i wanted to call you summit 
uh, for you guys that listen to this to join us in prayer uh, as, as our body. Not only do we remain one in Christ, in John chapter 17, Jesus was praying for his disciples and he said, Father, make them one in us like I am in you and you are in me that they would be one and that's been my prayer and so i want us to join together as one we have a prayer team they are phenomenal to, to pray for our folks and lift those up but we kind of want to bring you in and and no name specific because we want to protect those folks uh that may not want their health details to know uh but just to begin to pray specifically for healing in the body um physically emotionally relationally um, to join with us in that in the church and so as we are looking at the early church right now on Sundays one of the things they did on a regular basis we see in Acts 2 and Acts chapter 4 is they they spent time in prayer and so we're calling just to say would you pray with us uh, over these next weeks that God would continue to protect us continue to protect our unity but also heal some folks uh, that are really hurting right now uh, in the hospitals at home uh, relationships, marriages, and um, we want you to join us in that. So you, you want to add Yeah, I would add one thing to that. You know, we always, we talk a lot about the stress and uh, the wear and tear on, 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 on us, people like us that are in the ministry. And we've got a lot of people in our church, a lot of people in our community that are in the medical field. And the stress and the wear and tear on nurses especially it is unlike anything I've ever seen. My wife Ashley is a really good friend with a nurse that's in our community, and um, she was just sharing with Ashley what she sees on a daily basis. And it's, I'm telling you, it's it's PTSD level stuff that they're seeing and that they're going through. And so let's be praying for all of those folks as well, yes. because. Um, they're under just a tremendous amount of stress. Yeah, that's, that's a great word. Um, I'm reminded of something Danielle and I've been talking about the last couple of nights as we've been talking about all that's going on. I've said a couple of weeks ago that our beliefs determine our actions. And so what we've been reminding each other of is we serve a sovereign God. He's in control. And while we may look at the world today and we see chaos and we see all the craziness, Jake. One thing I love is that God knows every cell of our body. He knows every day we're gonna live. He knows the day we were born. He knows the day we're gonna die. And so he knows everything. And that gives me such great confidence during this season of so much unknown. Uh, it gives me great confidence that we serve a God who is sovereign. He knows everything. He knows the end. He knows the beginning. He knows the middle. And so I'm able to lean into that and not live in fear. God did not give us a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind, Jake. And that soundness of mind comes from knowing our God's sovereign, that he's in control. And so Summit, we just wanted to encourage you. We wanted to invite you to pray. We want you to be here this Sunday. I'll say one last thing, and this is a little bit longer yeah. video than we normally do. Invite someone to be with us this week. Uh, it's fun to see you guys inviting people. Several folks last week said, hey, I want to introduce somebody that my neighbors yep. came. And so you might be surprised if you ask, they may just come. So uh, be here this Sunday. It's going to be a great Sunday. You got anything else, brother? What is your dog doing? I don't know. It's a three-legged pug, man. Anything she wants to, you know. Hey, we love you. We'll see you Sunday.